uh, now, it's my great pleasure to uh, talk about the birth of the Sony Walkman, because I was uh, in it. I was in the middle of it, and uh, I had a great uh, experience of having worked with uh, Mr. Morita personally. He was my uh, direct boss. And uh, uh, for you, Mr. Morita or Mr. Ibuka or Mr. Oga are the uh, legendary names, right? But for me, they were my bosses. Every day I had to work with them, you know? So I'll uh, uh, reveal all the uh, interesting uh, episodes uh, about the Walkman and all these uh, great people. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Before we talk about the Walkman, let's uh, look at some of the uh, big hit products uh, which we see nowadays, okay? Right, smartphones. Everybody is talking about smartphones, right? And uh, like the like a, a Galaxy S, Toshiba Regza, and the uh, now uh, Xperia Arc. And just yesterday, <clears throat> I saw the world thinnest uh, smartphone uh, introduced from NEC Casio. And uh, it's a wonderful uh, sort of gadget, but uh, the uh, uh, very difficult uh, aspect is that uh, their uh, lifespan is so short, only like a two or three months, because other manufacturers introduce the new products, and all of a sudden, like uh, uh, Xperia stops selling, right? So they have to introduce Xperia Arc. Then uh, all the other products die, right? Now the Galaxy S is, uh, uh, is not selling well. Lynx is not selling well. It's a terrible uh, situation for any manufacturers to make money. I don't think they're making any money at all. Here we go. Oh, next, iPad. I have an iPad. I cannot leave home without iPad, okay? And, uh, I check my emails and uh, I check uh, uh, all the internet uh, uh, sites and everything. It's a wonderful gadget. And uh, uh, Steve Jobs did a wonderful work, a wonderful job in introducing this new gadget and also made it the uh, biggest selling uh, product in the world. Now, everybody's talking about 3D TVs. I was uh, at CES show, uh, consumer electronics show in Las Vegas in, ja in January. And all the leading manufacturers were demonstrating their newest versions of 3D TVs, like uh, Samsung, Panasonic, Sony, Toshiba. Everybody was uh, saying our 3D uh, TVs are the greatest in the world, you know. But the problem is, 99% of the TV program, uh, programs broadcast are not in 3D. So even if you bought a 3D uh, TV, you cannot enjoy the programs in 3D. So you have to have a great hardware, but at the same time, you have to have a great collection of software to enjoy, right? Now, everybody's talking about hybrid cars. Right, because of the uh, uh, petrol prices going up, and uh, everybody's uh, uh, very uh, eco conscious, right? Now it's a great lifestyle to drive a smaller car you know, rather than big cars, right? And it's kind of trendy, you know, for even uh, Hollywood uh, movie stars to drive a Prius rather than big uh, American cars. It's a good trend. Now, this is my favorite one. <laughs> I sometimes drop by a convenience store and uh, to uh, uh, buy a couple of them, right? It, it costs only 150 yen. Can you imagine, right? And actually, I was at, the, uh, at Lawson yesterday. I bought three of them, right? <laughs> Tonight, I might drop by a 7-Eleven. And I, I might sample their version of uh, a premium ro uh, roll cake. It's wonderful 
uh, success story. This one, Chinese chili uh, oil. I tried it. I love it. <laughs> you know, even plain rice with, with this on top tastes wonderful. You can put it on your steak. Steak uh, suddenly becomes so delicious. <laughs> then you can put it on your fish as well, right? It's, it's a great marketing gimmick. And they have uh, increased uh, their sales amount so much. So let's think about the, uh, uh, what makes them big hit products, OK? I think. It's a combination of hardware and software. Hardware, by that I mean great products. You have to have great products. Almost any leading manufacturers can produce great products. You know, great phones or great TVs. But why? Some products become big hits. Some products do not sell at all because they lack in image good uh, image which sort of uh, surround the products, okay, the uh, brand names, and uh, uh, maybe the association with somebody famous using the products. That's kind of a, uh, how do I say, the uh, very, very uh, uh, image-like uh, uh, world. You know, I, I call it software, trend image. So if you combine the, the both, then you have a big, chance of making your product a big hit product worldwide. Now, what can we learn from the success of the Sony Walkman? Here is a great man, Mr. Morita. He was my mentor, my boss. He was the reason why I first uh, applied for Sony. And he was, <clears throat> he was the uh, interviewer at the last interview. And he said, he is a wonderful guy, and he has this um, Nagoya accent uh, in his Japanese and also in his English, too. <laughs> he talks like this. <laughs> in English, he sounds exactly the same. He says, my name is Morita. I'm very, very happy to see you. <laughs> and Mr. Morita asked me, uh, Mr. Uh, Weyama, you were uh, a high school exchange student in Sandwich, Illinois, and also you were in Germany uh, when you were in college. If you uh, joined Sony, uh, which country would you like to go? I said, sir, I would like to stay in Japan. Why? Because I love sushi. Because I love Japanese sake. And uh, uh, you cannot uh, get both of them uh, if I went uh, overseas. He said, don't be stupid. We are looking for somebody who could go overseas to sell Sony products. Oh, would you promise me that you will uh, go overseas? And I said, sir, if I promised, would you take me? He said, yes, of course. <laughs> so I had the uh, uh, OK signal from him personally during my uh, interview. That was great, wasn't it? But anyway. Uh, he was my uh, mentor, my hero, okay, and he was my direct boss. He was in charge of the uh, Walkman project. And uh, these three giants, Mr. Ibuka, Mr. Morita, Mr. Oga, were active management team when I was at Sony. Okay, he was the honorary chairman. He was the chairman, and he was the uh, senior vice president. And uh, they were interesting. They had characters, OK? Now, Mr. Ibuka, he was 100% engineer. His interest was something revolutionary. What can, can we do to make it smaller, to make it uh, more efficient, you know? And his style of management was uh, management by walking about, OK? He would go to uh, uh, factories and uh, look at what the engineers uh, uh, were uh, making and uh, what the newest technology is, you know. And he, one day, he went to an uh, audio uh, factory in uh, Shinagawa. 
and he saw one of the engineers was uh, listening to, uh, to music with this uh, a pair of big headphones, you know? And of course, he was uh, very much uh, sort of submerged in, the, uh, uh, in his uh, uh, beautiful world of music. You know, he, he must have been uh, listening to Mozart or something. And he closed uh, uh, his eyes and like this, and his legs up on, the, on his desk, you know? And uh, Mr. Ibuka came. What are you doing? Of course, this guy could not hear. And so uh, uh, Mr. Ibuka said, what are you doing? And then he, uh, uh, he opened his eyes and saw the honorary chairman in front of him. Oh, sir, I was not uh, uh, sleeping. I was just uh, uh, testing my uh, prototype. This was the prototype. This was the mono tape recorder. And he had changed the circuitry into stereo. Okay? And he put this huge uh, pair of uh, headphones to it, and he could listen great stereo music through this. And uh, Mr. Ibuka said, OK, let me try it. He tried it. Oh, it looks, it sounds fantastic. I have never heard anything like this before. May I borrow this? So he borrowed it and took it to uh, Mr. Morita's uh, office. Mr. Morita, one of our engineers made this uh, prototype. Would you like to uh, try it? Then Mr. Morita tried it. Then he felt inspiration. He always told us, okay, great corporate leaders must have two things. One is capability to feel things, okay? Inspiration. And the uh, second thing is uh, to convert that inspiration into actual business, okay? And in many cases, these two do not go hand in hand. Some artistic people, you know, musicians or artists, might have lots of inspirations, but uh, they may be terrible organizers. You know, but those who organize production and uh, uh, like uh, personnel matters, they may not have uh, sort of enough uh, emotional flair to uh, feel things. But Mr. Morita felt something strong. Wow, this is great. This could be the big hit product worldwide. So he uh, uh, decided to borrow this over the weekend. So he is a person, gentleman, full of curiosity. He was, I guess, in his 60s then, but he wanted to try anything new, okay? Music, lifestyle, uh, sports, whatever, right? And uh, he was a genius who can convert playful matters into real business. Just like uh, maybe Steve Jobs, maybe, okay? So he borrowed the uh, uh, Walkman prototype. Then he came back on Monday fully enthused and fully convinced that uh, he decided to organize a uh, <clears throat> team called the Walkman team, okay? Normally, Sony used to have, uh, still do, uh, many different meetings, product planning meetings, design meetings, and so on and so forth, and uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, approvals have to uh, be gained, and, and it takes like a, usually one year and six months uh, until you see the actual product. But Mr. Morita was impatient. He wanted to have this within a year. To do that, he had to organize a special team consisting of experts, young and very enthusiastic uh, experts, okay, uh, who could do things, okay, rather than general managers. Uh, but uh, these guys were very young people. Uh, like, <clears throat> um, yeah, electronics engineer, mechanical engineer, designer, 
production, advertising, domestic sales, and overseas sales. And we used to have a meeting every week. And the designing team used to bring in the uh, prototypes of different designs. And we would look at it, and uh, uh, we would say, this might sell, this not, okay, this color is good, and so on and so forth. And they also uh, tried to uh, come up with new types of headphones, because uh, the first headphones were too big and too heavy. So we had to uh, make them smaller. And, uh, uh, but as we were doing, uh, I was in charge of advertising, and Mr. Morita said, shoot, while you are looking at these uh, prototypes, you have better think about how we can sell, how we can promote uh, this uh, uh, new product to our potential uh, customers. And so it was a very, very exciting experience. And, and then <clears throat> we uh, discussed about the uh, uh, brand name, product name. And Mr. Morita said, I have decided to call this the Walkman. And I said, uh, Mr. Morita, with due respect, it is not a proper English word. And he said, bullshit. This is Japanese English I have invented. So send the telex to uh, Sony America and Sony Europe and everybody and uh, get there OK. See, we did not have email then, you know. We had uh, telex. So I, ha I had to type telex, OK, with the, on this tape, you know. And so uh, I wrote, we have decided to call this the Sony Walkman. Then Sony America said, we do not like Walkman. We want to call it Soundabout. Sir, Sony America doesn't like it. Then came uh, Sony England. We do not like Walkman nor Soundabout. We would like to call it Stow Away. You know, very, very English, isn't it? I love English people, but, uh, you know, very, very different from, uh, from the Americans. Then Swedish said, uh, we love everything freestyle, as you know. Of course, they, you know, they do everything freestyle. And uh, they want to call it freestyle. So we had four different product names to start with. So Mr. Morita, uh, we have four names. What shall we do? Oh, OK. Let's make four different uh, boxes with uh, four different names. That's fine. So we, had, we started with these four names. You didn't know, right? OK. Now we released, decided to uh, uh, release this uh, Walkman 1, okay, in November 1979. The price was uh, 33,000 yen, very expensive, considering the uh, 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 income then, you know. And no recording capability, you cannot record anything, and no speakers, okay, and no radios, nothing, just you put in your cassette, pre-recorded cassette, and you listen to the music. That's it, okay? At 33,000 yen. Wow. Now, was that the calculated uh, risk or accident? Because at 33,000 yen, we would lose 10,000 yen for every set sold, right? Factory was so afraid. Oh, Mr. Morita, we will not make money. We'll lose money. And Mr. Morita said, no, we are celebrating the 33rd anniversary of Sony. So I have decided to make it 33,000 yen. So you do it. Sir, are you serious? You know, but he knew if the uh, uh, Suggested retail price was uh, 33,000 yen. The actual selling price from the uh, shops will be 29,800. Okay, which will be just about the sort of affordable price for college students. I don't know if he had that in mind or not, or that might have been just an accident. I don't know. 
But uh, uh, if we, we can sell them in mass, then the production cost will come down drastically, as you know. Then we'll be making money. Okay, very interesting experiment. Now, advertising budget was so small because we showed this prototype to the sales force and they said, ah, no, this will not sell. You know, it has no uh, recording and no speaker and no radio, nothing, and you just listen to me. No, 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 we cannot sell them. So, the, uh, any advertising budget is determined based on the uh, total sales forecast. So since the sales forecast was so low, my budget was so low. And uh, Mr. Morita said, shoo, you produce advertising for uh, Sony Walkman with six million yen. I said, what? Six million yen, not six million dollars? <laughs> no, six million yen to do the uh, press uh, announcement and uh, the uh, initial launch. Now. If you don't have money to run a TV commercials or expensive uh, uh, newspaper ads or magazine ads, what would you do? I focus on PR. What's the difference between advertising and PR? Advertising, you pay money, okay, to a, a TV station or to a newspaper company to say, Hey, I am the greatest. I am pretty, okay? So you pay money, okay, to say that you are great. PR is something different. PR is somebody else is saying that you are great, okay? Magazine article says, oh, Sony Walkman is a good product, very interesting. So somebody else is saying it. So PR is a, to make them say, nice things about you, right? So this is a third party, third person saying, it's more trustworthy rather than you saying you are great. Ah, nah, shut up, get out of here, you know? So I focus on the on PR. Now, usually uh, Sony would hold a press conference at the top floor of the uh, Sony building Ginza, okay? This time, we had a couple of big buses parked in front of uh, this uh, Sony building. Instead of uh, uh, inviting all the reporters from the uh, TV stations and the newspapers and the magazines, we uh, uh, said uh, to them, please get on this bus, okay? And we had put a uh, Walkman on every seat, right? So they came in. Oh, this is the Walkman, of course, you know. Then they tried it on. Now, everybody was so curious, right? And then we shut the door, right? So they were captive audience. They could not do anything else <laughs> but listen to the uh, uh, Sony Walkman. And we had recorded one hour music, all sorts of music, you know, classical music and uh, singing and Japanese uh, enka and uh, uh, French chanson and everything for one hour. So they were listening, oh, beautiful. And while we were driving around the uh, uh, Imperial Palace and then all the way to Harajuku. So by the time they finished their uh, listening for one hour, okay, please get out of here. So they got out. Then we had about 20 college students doing roller skating, okay, with Walkman. Okay, now these reporters, these media people are so uh, good at uh, sensing what we were trying to say. Oh my God, of course, Sony is now suggesting a new type of lifestyle to take out your favorite music outside and uh, enjoy your favorite music as you are doing uh, sports or something else. It's a fantastic concept because until then, the uh, very typical way of uh, enjoying a stereo music was sitting in your living room and uh, have uh, two uh, big speakers in front of you 
and big stereo set, you know, looking at you, and then big volume, right? That was a sort of typical way of enjoying like uh, Beethoven's uh, uh, Symphony Number no. 6. But now you can enjoy Beethoven's Symphony Number no. 6 or Number uh, or, or number 9 from this small box. That was amazing, wasn't it? Okay. So uh, this cost me only 2 million yen. I did not spend 6 million yen. But after that, in the evening, TV started to report on the uh, Sony uh, Walkman. Next day, newspaper reported. Next week, um, magazines uh, started to talk about it. And uh, Sony Walkman became a very, very popular word all over the world. And we gave uh, sample sets to these uh, celebrities, Michael Jackson or Diana Ross. And Michael Jackson would do, come you know, on stage like this, and they had the Walkman. What's that? Oh my god, that's Sony Walkman. Oh yeah, have you, have you bought it? No, no, not yet. OK, let's go. You know? And uh, so this is the, uh, when celebrities use it, you want to uh, imitate it. That's what I call aspirational approach. Yeah, oh, I want to be like that. See, this worked very well. You may not know her. <laughs> she she uh, uh, used to be a singer, uh, and uh, she had this uh, just one hit song <laughs> <laughs> called Ihoji. And uh, uh, she belonged to a, a CBS Sony Music Company. And uh, her father used to work for Sony. <laughs> so we used her very cheaply, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, she was very popular then, for about six months, you know. <laughs> Mr. Morita was uh, a global salesman. He would do anything, any stupid things, funny things. He is now sort of doing a disco, you know, uh, in, the, uh, in New York. And this is a, a newspaper uh, in New York. And uh, Popeye, OK. We talked uh, with Popeye. And uh, Popeye's um, uh, chief uh, editor and their staff were great fans of Sony. And uh, we decided to do something different. OK? So for the first time in Japan, we did article ad. Article ad, by that I mean, we uh, lent uh, about uh, 10 sets of the Sony Walkman to their uh, staff. And you try, try these for about a week, OK? And you write all these articles in the uh, sort of a, a magazine type of sentences, you know, rather than typical ads. Because we did not want to have a typical ad. You know, Sony is great, you know, smallest in the world, and you can take out your uh, stereo music outside. I did not want that. But we wanted to uh, read nice articles, which all the other readers would uh, think, oh, this is a proper article on a Popeye magazine. And in the end, we uh, said, uh, presented by Sony. OK, so until they came to the very end, they were not uh, conscious. They did not know that it was an ad. Very smart, wasn't it? So this was the, uh, Japan's very first uh, article ad. This is a funny uh, looking uh, uh, <clears throat> ad. Very tall uh, American girl was uh, dancing like this, and then uh, Bald-headed uh, Japanese uh, old man in Yukata uh, was uh, listening to music. It was a very funny, weird uh, <clears throat> ad, but uh, it was very popular. And we uh, created this uh, new logo with uh, four legs sticking out and walking. Okay, it's a Walkman, right? And uh, we uh, wanted to uh, learn. Uh, about the uh, actual reactions from the customers. 
So uh, all the uh, uh, Walkman team members, excuse me, we wanted to uh, learn about the market, okay? Rather than um, we create, created something great, so uh, please buy. That's, uh, that used to be the sort of Sony's attitude, you know? We uh, came up with this new uh, technology, so we came up uh, with this wonderful product, so you guys buy. But this time, it was so different because the technology was not so new. That was a sort of an existing conventional technology. And lifestyle was different, okay? So we really wanted to learn how people would uh, react. So we all had to go to Akihabara and work there and actually sell from the shops. You know, that was a great lesson to learn. So this is uh, uh, what uh, uh, business school teaches as the uh, sort of a consumer uh, based uh, marketing, something like that. But uh, we uh, actually did it. And uh, also we uh, shared lots of passion, you know, to succeed. Because this was the uh, very special project, uh, uh, which was directed uh, uh, personally by Mr. Morita, so we could not fail, right? So uh, uh, all, all the members uh, of the Walkman team share the strong passion and the uh, uh, product uh, uh, introduction within a year and the global branding as well, okay? Then other companies started to introduce similar products. Do you remember there was a company called Aiwa? Aiwa used to be owned by Sony, 51%, but uh, uh, it disappeared and it was sort of absorbed into, uh, into Sony. And they came up uh, with a product called Cassette Boy. Okay, that was okay, you know, because uh, uh, Iowa was uh, one of us. Toshiba introduced a product called Walkie. Very, very inventive name, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we had Walkman, they came up with Walkie. You know, I think they they could have done uh, slightly better than that, you know. Then uh, Panasonic came, came up uh, uh, with a product called Go, okay. So, <clears throat> we had to do something about it, okay. So we came up with uh, this, Walkman 2. It was much smaller than the Walkman 1, and headphones were smaller, lighter. There was a special switch to suppress music when you want to talk, and uh, it was a great, uh, great product. And uh, it weighed only 280 grams, and we lowered the price by 1,000 yen. And uh, uh, this is after uh, my, uh, my days, and uh, uh, advertising manager came up uh, with this brilliant idea, using a monkey. Okay, and Mr. Oga was my direct boss. He was uh, then uh, senior managing, uh, uh, senior VP, and uh, later he became the president and the chairman. Great uh, man, and he used to uh, study music. He was a baritone singer, and uh, he ended up uh, uh, as the chairman of Sony. He was big, and he was uh, very interesting. Shoo! I have a couple of uh, dogs in. Uh, uh, in my home, two chow chow dogs. Could you think of uh, 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 producing a uh, new TV commercial for the Sony Walkman uh, using one of my chow chow dogs? <laughs> you see, I was a very, very good salary man. I said, sir, that, the, that's the greatest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> Do you think so? Yes, of course. <laughs> so we borrowed uh, uh, one with his chow chow dogs, and uh, I, uh, we hired an uh, uh, American boy, a uh, blonde boy, and uh, we put the uh, uh, headphones uh, to both of them, and uh, they were sort of uh, trying to have, sort of having fun together, you know? But uh, it took us, uh, I don't know, like a two or three days to finish filming, because chow chow dog is a pretty nervous dog, you know? And, uh, uh, but uh, in the end, we, uh, uh, we made it, and I said, I said to Mr. Uh, Oga, Mr. Oga, here is the uh, uh, new TV commercial with uh, uh, your chow chow dog. Okay, let's watch it together. Oh, wow, it's good. 
He's so cute, isn't he? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, uh, okay, let's run it from next week. Yes. So we ran it, you know, chow chow dog. And uh, then came Mr. Morita. He said, shoo, my daughter <laughs> came up with a very interesting hand signal. It uh, look, looks like this. Let's walk, man. I said, uh, is it the hand, hand signal for the walkman? Yes, look at this. It looks like a W, walk. Looks like M. So, W and M, walkman. Oh, that's brilliant. Your daughter is so intelligent. You think so? Yes, of course. Would you make a TV commercial with this hand signal and spread that all over Japan? Of course, I will try my best, sir, you see. I was so good at uh, Komasuri, you know. <clears throat> so we hired uh, uh, beautiful uh, uh, American, European models, and uh, I uh, showed them how to do this. Uh, let's walk, man. Let's walk, man. You know, and, and then we <clears throat> we uh, uh, complete the uh, the uh, commercial, and uh, uh, we showed it to Mr. Morita. Mr. Morita, it's now done. Oh yeah, let's look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice. Let's walk, man. Let's walk. That's good. So we ran it, but nobody understood <laughs> that this meant W, this meant M. So we changed the narration from the second week, okay? W to M de walk, man. <laughs> See? So, uh, but it didn't work so well. <laughs> so the uh, Sony's top management really mixed up, you know, the, uh, their private tastes uh, <laughs> with business. See? They were terrible people. <laughs> I wrote this uh, uh, case study for the uh, Ad Week in English, and uh, uh, I'm sure you have the, the copy, and I hope uh, you'll be able to read it. <clears throat> and uh, uh, this, uh, again, uh, added some PR you know, for, the, for the success of the Walkman. Now, Walkman was born because Sony was an H-type company. I will explain what H means, okay, uh, later. Now, Walkman was a low-tech product, okay? Any other companies could have made it. But why Sony um, succeeded? A okay, combination of the existing technology and the change of concept, okay? Just a sort of, your way of thinking, lifestyle, okay? And uh, so playful mind was the key. You gotta play. You have to uh, have lots of hobbies to be able to uh, come up with a wonderful idea for new products, okay? I really strongly recommend you to play, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's talk about brand. Mr. Oga used to tell me, Shu, Sony's uh, branding strategy is high quality, high image, high price, everything high. Okay, you know why? Because Sony could not produce things cheaply. Okay? <laughs> we were inefficient. <laughs> we spent too much money on researches. Okay, so National Panasonic came up like a 10% lower. And Mitsubishi Electric, 20% lower. Sanyo, 30% lower. You see, we could not make things uh, cheaply. So we had to justify, you know, why the hell Sony products are so expensive? Because we are better. Because our image is great, you know, like that. And uh, so there are all these uh, brands. But a brand is a promise. It's a great saying, okay? Please remember this. Brand is a promise. If you see Sony, if you see anything else, Kodak, it's saying something. It's promising something for you, okay? It's promising. If you bought a Sony, okay, you will not be disappointed. We'll deliver you the highest quality. We'll deliver you the greatest picture for a long time. It's a promise, okay? So we at Sony spent so much time, so much money, so much brain work to build up this uh, brand image. It was very, very important. Let's look at some of the uh, clever Sony ads. Wow, we are running out of time. 
Never mind. Here we go. Tummy TV. This is Sony America. Did it long time ago. Dolding Burnback. DDB produced this. Isn't it nice? This is a five inch black and white TV. This fat man <laughs> in his bed putting a, a, his a five inch uh, Sony TV on his tummy. Nice, isn't it? You know, there's a sort of sense of humor, right? Humor is so important. Humor is so universal. Anybody understands, right? There's no need of explanations. Oh, isn't it nice? Okay. Now, this one I produced in, uh, <clears throat> when I was a marketing manager at Sony UK, England. English people have a very different sense of humor. I love it. <clears throat> it's not direct. It's sort of indirect. Look at this. The first time I lost a clear sharp picture on my Sony Trinitron was when it was stolen. Isn't it nice? Okay, last, uh, last night a thief came in, right? He stole only the Sony Trinitron, nothing else. So this owner is, oh, I'm so sad. I lost my beautiful picture of Sony Trinitron last night. It was stolen. He stole, stole nothing else, right? Isn't it nice? So this kind of sense of humor is so nice, so appealing to the British. This is a famous one. <clears throat> this is the uh, octopus baby, okay? And uh, uh, we showed uh, how the uh, oct uh, octopus babies are born. You know, very, very nice picture. Fascinating scientific picture. It was very, very popular. So, by running all these ads all over the world, okay, gathering all the uh, esprit, you know, all the inspirations, all the great ideas, then Sony's brand value was enhanced. See, it's a long process, but it was very effective. Now, <clears throat> let me talk about three types of people. Let's see, I-type person, okay? There are so many I-type persons in Japan. There's only vertical axis. Work, job, okay? What is your hobby? Oh, I love my work. What are you doing tonight? I'm working overtime. <laughs> Let's go to play golf over the weekend. Oh, no, 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 I have so much work to do. Okay, there are so many people like that. Then they go home dead tired, but before that probably they drop, drop in uh, their favorite yakitori bar and they complain about their companies. <laughs> and uh, they go home to uh, this uh, small apartment, you know, and uh, dead tired around the midnight, and then they wake up at six o'clock uh, in the morning and uh, take a, a train, uh, squashed, pushed, and everything. I don't think this will be a sort of a <clears throat> ideal lifestyle to lead the rest of your life. So I s suggested a T-type person, okay? Vertical access job, you gotta work, okay? To earn your living. But you have to uh, have horizontal access. This is the uh, all sorts of different hobbies, right? Like uh, you wanna ride on a motorbike, or classical music, play golf, gardening, or cooking, whatever, right? And from each hobby, you develop new kind of uh, friends, right? So your network becomes much wider, okay? As you add more hobbies, you become a more interesting person, right? More people want to, uh, want to talk to you. More people want to, uh, go drinking with you, right? So you make more friends. And actually, if you become a more interesting person, you do better in your job, rather than staying in your office all day, seven days a week, right? And if a T-type person gets married, he or she will add another vertical axis, which is family. Right? Then you have a complete H type shape, job, okay? hobbies, 
and network of people and family. Sony was an H type company. That's what, what I really want to say. Look at this. Walkman was born because Mr. Morita was an H type person. He loved to do anything windsurfing, or diving, golfing, skiing, everything. Okay? So he knew how to enjoy his life. So the Sony Walkman or Sony products were something to uh, enhance uh, your enjoyment in your daily life. See, it's very, very important. So uh, I repeat again, okay, conditions to make a big hit product. Excellent product plus trendy lifestyle. The Walkman was a passport to join that trendy group of people, right? It was not difficult. All you have to do was to pay 33,000 yen. <laughs> then you get this Walkman. Then you will be regarded as the trendiest person in the world, right? Isn't it nice? Mr. Morita once called me, <clears throat> shoot, take me to a disco in Roppongi. Sir, are you insane? <laughs> he said, no, 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 no. I really want to go to a, a disco in Roppongi. Do you know some discos? Yes, I do. OK. Bring your friends. I'll pay for it. And <laughs> uh, take me to a disco. So we went to a disco, right? And he was uh, looking at uh, all the people there. And then uh, he said, OK. Let's dance, you know, and then listening to the music and everything, right? And uh, uh, at that time, I remember they were playing uh, Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie and Holland Oates, all this music, right? And the very interesting thing was the following week when we had the Walkman meeting, he said, well, listen. <clears throat> Now, the uh, Michael Jackson and the Holland Oats uh, are pretty uh, popular, and uh, people are spending about uh, 20,000 yen uh, when they go out to a disco, and uh, they uh, dance like this. You know, he, he talked like this as if he knew that for, for ages, you know? And, uh, but he just uh, went there just uh, one week before that. But uh, you know, great people can pretend as if. They had always known, you know, all, all, all these things. And he said, so you guys had better go to the disco in, in Roppongi as well and uh, uh, take a look at uh, the lifestyle of the people who might be our customers, right? And uh, so here is a picture of uh, Mr. Morita uh, with Michael Jackson. Yeah. So it's a matter, of course, to uh, produce great products. It's very important to add a likable image. Now, all the other companies are doing the similar uh, operation. If you bought a Panasonic, you'll be like Ayumi Hamazaki. Never. <laughs> but uh, they give an illusion, OK, that uh, you'll be like uh, Ayu. Then uh, Panasonic's uh, uh, stock. <laughs> So so, isn't it? Right? Now, if you bought a Canon, you'd be like Maria Sharapova. Never, no way. <laughs> but uh, they try to give that image, right? Okay, they're doing fine. Yemon, okay? If you drank Yemon tea, you'll be closer to the elegant world of Kyoto. If you uh, went to a, a convenience store, okay? Take a look at uh, different brands of tea, Japanese tea, OK? Uh, Iemon, Namacha, or Oi Ocha. Now, Oi Ocha sounds terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, you, tea, you know? <clears throat> I think uh, it's a sexual uh, discrimination, isn't it? <laughs> hey, you, tea, Oi Ocha. But uh, I. I uh, very often pick up Yemon, you know, probably it's the, it's the uh, uh, effect of the, uh, of the TV commercial, you know. If I drank Yemon, I may be sort of uh, perceived more sort of elegant, more sort of uh, 
you know, uh, nice people rather than oi ocha. <laughs> you know, so it's all image. This, if you went to a dandy house, you'd be like Richard Gere. No way! <laughs> if it's the truth, you know, I would go to, <laughs> to find the pretty woman, <laughs> Julia Roberts, right? Okay, now this is a great combination uh, between iPod and Nike, right? It's nice to do sports as you are enjoying music. This is exactly what we proposed when uh, we first introduced uh, the Sony Walkman, right? So, uh, all the other companies are trying to put together hardware and software. Now, Walkman has evolved so much. Now, they are so small and they can do lots of things. I'm very happy that the Walkman uh, is still very strong and uh, uh, designs are just wonderful. And uh, this is uh, their uh, recent uh, TV commercial and uh, I took a uh, look at it. It looks very good. Sony's stock market is not do doing so well. I don't know. I'm sorry to say, not too loud, but so quietly. <laughs> uh, I wish Sony had uh, kept more of its magic sort of uh, aura. You know, used to be great brand name. Sony, of course, is different. Sony was over there. And anybody else was down there. Now, everybody's about the same. It's a shame, isn't it? Because I left, you know. <laughs> now, Apple has inherited the Walkman spirit, I think. Okay? iPod, therefore I am. This is the... Uh, uh, they borrowed the very famous uh, uh, phrase, I think, therefore, I am. Rene Descartes. Je pense, donc, je suis. You understand? Yep. So he almost became like God, isn't it? Everybody sort of uh, worships him. He's great. He has done something really great. But when he Steve Jobs introduced iPod. He paid a lot of respect to Mr. Morita. This is the press conference which Steve Jobs did. He showed Mr. Morita's picture holding a Walkman. He must have said, I have decided to introduce my iPod just like Mr. Morita introduced his Walkman. Isn't it a great way to pay respect to the great man? And uh, the, again, they are doing a great combination of hardware and software. Great hardware, but great image ad, right? I saw these uh, pictures on all the trains uh, on the uh, Yamanote line. Fantastic. No words are necessary to explain, right? You can feel it. Madonna is using it too. Aspirational marketing again, right? Oh, Madonna. My, my favorite singer is using an uh, iPhone 4. That's great. So unless it is an iPod, it's not trendy, okay? Unless it is not a Walkman, it is not trendy, okay? We did that long time ago. They're doing it now. I enjoy going to an Apple store, beautiful, okay? Just to be in it is trendy, right? And this is the uh, 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 iMac Air, wonderful design. iPad 2 is coming uh, soon to Japan too. Apple's stock market, look at this. A year ago, $240, now $340. Everybody's making a lot of money from uh, Apple stock. So, a big toast to Mr. Morita, a truly H-type person. And I wanted to add my good friend Richard, Richard Branson. 
How many of you have uh, flown on uh, Virgin Atlantic Airways? Raise your hand. One, two. Oh, good. Did you like it? Great, huh? Great way to fly. Upper class is the price is uh, business class uh, price, but the service is first class. Wonderful. And Richard and I met uh, 27 years ago when I uh, uh, interviewed him uh, on his houseboat. And ever since we have been friends. And uh, yesterday he uh, sent me an uh, email. Shu, I'm thinking of now diving into the deepest ocean, Mariana Trench. Could you get me the map? Map of the, you know, the uh, Mariana uh, Trench. And uh, so still our friendship is continuing. Here we go. And uh, uh, he says that business should be an entertainment. See, there's no boundary between enjoyment and business. He enjoys all his businesses. My hobby is my business. My life and business are adventures. Music is my lifetime business. Business should be fun. This is when they introduced a new company called the Virgin Bride. He wore, Richard wore the <laughs> wedding dress and uh, uh, he always does this kind of thing. And uh, uh, all the media are very, very friendly uh, towards him. This is a great saying. Please remember, nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's a great saying. Okay, this is an abbreviation of saying, if nothing was ventured, okay, nothing would be gained. Right? It's a great saying. I want to make people happy. He is very active in charity. And also, he, he loves his family. And Joan is uh, uh, his wife. She's from Scotland with a pretty uh, heavy Sc uh, Scottish accent. And uh, I enjoy listening to her. And uh, <clears throat> oh, it is you know, very nice to see you, Shu. Uh, sounds like a, uh, very, very Scottish. Very nice. Uh, he published uh, this book. I translated uh, this book. It took me seven months. I have uh, three copies for you to win <laughs> if you won Junkin. Okay? And I, also, I've got some uh, DVDs, my uh, personal interview uh, with him, which was aired on uh, Nick KC and NBC. Oh, this is the, uh, do we have, to, oh, two more minutes. So what can we learn from uh, these uh, global leaders? Keep learning and build up knowledge and wisdom inside, OK? Keep learning, study. To communicate your thoughts and the philosophy most effectively, how can you communicate with other people, OK? To have knowledge and wisdom within, that's good. But you had better use them. You have better communicate with other people. How are you? going to uh, communicate them uh, most effectively. You got to use your language, learn your English, smile. This is the greatest way to communicate. Body language, okay? And smartly dressed. An aura. Aura is something I can talk for about an hour. <laughs> but uh, if you have confidence, smile, okay, then your body will be surrounded by aura. Then people will listen to you. It's very important. So, why don't you become an H-type person too? Okay, so this is my strong recommendation for you. Here we go. Enjoy your life. Many thanks for your kind attention. Thank you.